Okay, this is the fuel pump off my 99 Polaris Indy Trail Touring. It's a 488 fan motor. Uh, had a really cold weekend, minus 30 Fahrenheit. The engine was running fine, but then overnight, the next morning, it was not running well. Basically, it it's, seems like it's uh, running out of gas, almost like you're shutting off the fuel petcock. And uh, it's it's starving for fuel. So thought maybe it was just ice in the line or something uh, warmed up again now, and it's still not running well. So I'm thinking or hoping it's the fuel pump. Never been rebuilt that I know of. So this is uh, looks like Tayo Geiken, T A I Y O G I K E N. Bought a rebuild kit locally off the internet. To power sports and I'll open this one up see what it looks like already took the uh, fuel pump off of the sled just the uh, have to unhook the pulse line to carburetor fuel lines and the fuel line coming from the uh, fuel tank petcock already loosened these up once and separated apart it was a little bit stuck together just the uh, gaskets were kind of stuck open it up looks like this diaphragm is definitely dirty and I think I can see a bend and maybe a hole right there in that diaphragm Whatever they call that, I assume that's the diaphragm. It's the first half, second half. I'm not really seeing any flaws in that, though it's definitely got a bow to it. My understanding is that can be a, a weaken maybe the amount of fuel that it's pumping. Over time that gas starts to work on those plastics. So we're going to swap out the gaskets and the diaphragms here and see if that makes a difference. This is the uh, fuel pump rebuild kit that I bought. I actually bought it on eBay. Most of your parts fish or Polaris uh, Actually, factory direct. It looks like it's a discontinued item. So this is a SP1. And there's the part number again. So this is what the new gasket rebuild kit, or the new fuel pump rebuild kit came with. It's, uh, two gaskets there, the diaphragm for one half. Two gaskets, the rebuild kit or a diaphragm for the other half and then two of the plastic one-way valve discs, screws and washers. So it looks like everything for the full rebuild. I match the old gaskets up with the new it looks like everything matches up. So just peeling off the old uh, gasket on the back section here, gaskets are very dry down and actually sticking a little bit. So I'm going to grab a scotch Bright pad and just lightly buff that to try to get those old pieces to release without marring up the surface of the fuel pump itself. You can see there is almost a little ridge that runs around. right here that runs all the way around that kind of presses it together so I don't want to alter that at all. Alright so I ended up going around and kind of using a dental scraping tool to try to clear especially along that ridge. I didn't use the scotch bright too much because I was afraid I would buff off that ridge because this is just aluminum. I think I have 
but I need to get off of we'll find out so now here I'm just going to replace the gaskets uh, one gasket kind of got pans that line pins that line up there and there now next the diaphragm piece make sure it's clean before I put it on there do this two hands and then I'll put the other gasket and sandwich it together okay I just re finished removing the gaskets and cleaning up this center section of the pump good thing about this section is it's just a smooth face where that gasket goes it doesn't have that ridge bump so it's easier to clean up mainly just used a straight blade razor and then little bit of scotch bright just to rub it up I did remove and replace the uh, one-way valve disc I ended up using the same hardware even though the kit did come with replacements I figured uh, everything looked good there there so there's no sense in changing screws and running into an issue with the uh, threading perhaps I'm just gonna Clean that up a little bit more right there, and then I'm going to sandwich it together in that back half, and I'll work on the front half. Okay, so on this piece, I ended up using a little bit of carb cleaner, because that gasket was really stuck, and I didn't want to pound on that edge too much and remove that lip. Interestingly... When I hit it with carb cleaner, that old gas had kind of blackened up and stood out more. And I could just use the dental tool to get the bulk of it out. There's still a little bit there, but I don't think it's going to be an issue with the gasket, the new gasket. And I just lightly buffed it with a uh, scotch bright again because I'm trying not to hammer on that edge too much. certainly no saving of the old gaskets they were all dried out and stuck to the surfaces this is the remnants of that now I'm gonna put last pieces of gasket on the diaphragm sandwich it all back together all right so here it is back together uh, or bolts I did uh, just put some WD-40 to them just to try to slow down the corrosion if anything not, not because they need to be lubricated just looking all the way around it does look like that the gasket kit replacement kit matches up well all the way around everything seemed pretty straightforward so looking at the old diaphragm pieces, this is the one section. I don't think there's a hole in it, but you can see that it's definitely worn. It's got some staining on it. It must just be some dirty fuel in there. And so it is, does have a kind of a little ridge, a bend there. So I don't know if that's going to be an, enough wear on that piece that it wasn't pumping fuel like it should be and that's why the engine is starving or if I'm gonna have a, a different issue like maybe a uh, clog filter looks like the take-up line is good this thing too it's a little bit worn no holes in it the old discs seem like they're in perfectly good shape Save those as just backup pieces, I guess. This is the one that really seems to be the worst. We'll see. Put it back in the sled and see if that does the trick.
Otherwise, we'll be moving on to the the next piece of diagnosis, which is maybe the uh, fuel uptake or the uh, fuel line filter, which or even the carbs, resyncing the carbs, but I'm trying to avoid taking out the air box if I can just fix it with this. Was running fine before. Give it a shot. All right, well, here she is back in the sled. We're about to give her a test shot here. While she's running, the uh, excess smoke there is just some oil burning off the exhaust. She's running, but she is uh, running rough, which is what it was doing before I just rebuilt that fuel pump. So obviously that is not it. So I have to move on to the next diagnosis. If you got an idea, let me know. Obviously something with uh, fuel, because... I equate the noise it's making right now is the same as when I shut off the fuel petcock and I'm running it dry when it starts to starve out. That's kind of how it's sounding. So it's got to be something with the fuel.